Alrighty guys, so here's a quick video. Um, uh, I, I think I made a video on this a, a little while ago. I just didn't upload it. But anyways, somebody decided to mow along the bridge. So they knocked, a lot, again, they knocked, they knocked a lot of our hay down. Of course, it's freaking winter and hell out. But anyways, uh, because this is not our land, obviously. Uh, it belongs to the state, but we cut it for hay anyway. We've always, we've always have done that. We've done it for years. But unfortunately, somebody decided to mow it. Well, they ended up leaving a lot of good hay down here again, um, along the bridge, along the dike. Um, I get out of the wind here. This wind's bullshit. Somebody had actually recommended uh, to just, just go like along the dike and stuff, go pick all that hay up, and just pick it up. Uh, they kind of went around this stupid thing, I don't know why. Well, they hit a log. A bunch of logs there. But, uh... Anyways, um, they left on the, on the, the dike there, they left a lot of good hay, and actually my uncle's, uh, he spent a good chunk of the afternoon, uh, picking up that hay, um, because I kind of did some griping and bitching yesterday, you know, I was like, you know, that's a freaking waste, you know, and it's like, yeah, they did the work cutting it for us, <laughs> now we have to go pick it up, well, technically we would just leave it in the winter and bale it. But, unfortunately it got cut and uh, mowed for freaking hay. So, there's some stuff along the dike here, along the bridge that, that looked uh, pretty good yet. So, I think I'm going to, I'm just going to pick this shit up, fuck it. Because they ain't going to care about it anyway. I know some of you guys... I've recommended to uh, just go pick it up. It's not, not going to be an easy thing because it's not in a windrow. You know, it's all like it's scattered all over the place. Well, from the moor, obviously. So it's going to be kind of a nuisance. But they left so much good hay here. Actually, the hay that my uncle picked up uh, along the, the, the dike gave him. Uh, where he started and where he left off, I'm not 100% sure, but I know where he went. Um, it basically gave him him almost a full ring of hay. Um, so basically a full bale. Um, again, I think we could get that down here. It's mostly down here, of course, along the dike. Um, so if we're getting short on hay, you know, all the freaking time. It's like, it's like every year we lose hay and it's just it's not paying off for us uh, to even stay in business anymore really. Well me anyway because you know we got an extra cow so I think what we're going to do would have went a lot better if we had the that New Holland rake going because I could just rake this all into a winter and pick it up. But now I gotta, you're gonna have to walk this whole entire fucking thing to pick it up. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick this shit up. Um, see, if, see yeah, I'm sure it'll give me a good load. Um, here comes the freaking wind. The plans are to probably just throw it in the barn and leave it. Um, I'm not, I don't want to feed it because they don't need, cows don't need it because they have this, this kind of stuff here in the pasture, right? And my uncle picked up whatever he could and fed it to them. Well, they're not really going to nibble on it a whole hell of a lot to pick at it, but it's kind of a waste, I think. Um, I'm just going to pick this shit up and throw it in the barn on the good side. And then... Obviously, then once winter comes, we'll start feeding it. 
um, because, you know, it's bullshit. That's what it is. It, it boils down to bullshit, you know. Like, yeah, they mowed the dike. Okay, I don't have a problem with them mowing the dike, but the problem is that they mow too far into our field. Even though the mayor, I did, I know that in the last video I had said I, had said I had gotten a hold of the ex-mayor. No, I said that by mistake. I was able to find out who the new mayor was of this, of this town, and I talked to him. Or my mom did, whoever the fuck did. I think we both kind of did. Um, but, apparently from what he says, uh, whoever, mo well, it's, I don't know, it's some kind of, it's not, I don't know if it's a rule or what, but it's important, unfortunately they have the right to mow 15 feet in from the dike. Well, I think that's ridiculous because they they'd never done it years ago. I mean, so I suppose it's a different mower every time. We'll say something different. But, I think what I'd like to do, and this is probably what's going to be happening, is I'm just going to let them mow it. Um, the dike, obviously. And let them mow in as far as they, they legally are allowed to do, I guess. Uh, and then, I'm probably just going to Maybe try to get the New Holland rake fixed, get it going next year, uh, and then just rake all the shit up into a windrow, and then I'll either pick it up, throw it in the barn, and leave it, or when the young guy finally gets down here to cut this field, um, I'll pick the stuff back out of the barn, and we can just throw it in as a bale, you know, I just like to throw it into the windrow, and then we just bale it up, but... <clears throat> It just, this can't be wasted because it's, now they don't always mow along the, the bridge, you know, this is kind of like once in a blue moon they do this kind of thing. Um, I don't know if they plan on checking on it or what this year. They have been working on the top. They've been shutting down one lane, you know, to do whatever it is that they're doing. But they might want to start doing maintenance underneath it too, so... But they didn't really do a good job doing that for mowing wise. They did kind of a piss poor job. Because uh, usually they would mow everything then. But they didn't. So so that's what we're going to do. I know a couple of YouTubers I recommend just to go pick the shit up as loose hay. And then just I guess feed it or whatever. Well that's what we're going to exactly do. I know my uncle said that he, he went and picked up some hay. He got about three loads. And uh, he just threw all that in the ring, you know, so I guess the cows could pick on it. But I want to throw my hay that I, that I pick up in the barn. And I don't know what's, I know that the one side of the barn leaks because the roof is shot, but I think the other side's still possibly good a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to stack all the hay on, that's actually I think on the side that where my cow stayed the last couple of years when she cast. It's on the, it'd be the west side of the west side of the barn, the good side, but way to the, you know, that little pendant area. Uh, pick that shit up, throw it in there, and then either bail it later on when he does decide to come here and cut, or I'll just leave it as loose hay, and then as we get into the winter months, we'll just feed it for them and just pull out a chunk here and there and feed it to them. Because I just got a feeling that because you know we need more we need way more hay than what we're getting now. This is just ridiculous. And I figured why let the dike go to waste? Now the problem with them when the way they mowed they mowed everything kind of thin. Um, you know obviously they didn't throw it into a windrow, didn't leave it as a large chunk of grass, a full stem. I guess you could say they it, you know it shredded it. So down here it didn't really shred it too bad. It's more in the chunks, which is what we kind of like, but. The cows might like the finer stuff too, but we picked up, my uncle picked up some there. I don't know what it, if he picked anything up there, but all that along there could be picked up and then along the bridge. I think I'm going to go for the bridge first. Um, and then just pick it up by hand with, the, you know, with a pitchfork or something. Because it's a waste of hay. The time, with, the time, you know, the young guy will get here to cut and even bale this shit, all this other shit will be gone. It'll be corroded, it'll be rotted, and, you know, just rotten into the ground. No sense of freaking wasting it. I'll pick it up and get some damn good use out of it. 
So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're just going to go ahead and pick the shit up. Fuck it. They ain't going to care anyway. There goes Border Patrol again. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to pick the shit up. Um, so just use the pitchfork and the pickup. Would have been a lot nicer if I could have brought in the rake down here and raked it. I don't want to use the rake because it needs the gear case oil needs to be changed in it, and I'm sure it's probably all goop by now. It's been sitting for so many freaking years. So yeah, I don't know. Right here, this I mean, this doesn't really look like much. Right here, but. There is some good stuff in there. Pick all that up and throw it in the back of the pickup. Eventually it'll add up to something. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick all this shit up. Screw it. I don't want it to go to waste. This is some logs here. I'm not sure how good it dried underneath, but I think it's dry enough we can pick it up. Because who knows when the young guy will get here. He's not even here yet. I guess he's probably going to be late again this year. But now we'll just pick this shit up and get it out of here. So that's the plans, anyway, guys. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So, anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna take off. So I guess I have a good day and stuff. And stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.